Okay, let's solve the initial value problem y double prime minus 4y prime plus 4y is equal to 0. Subject to y of 0 equals negative 1 and y prime of 0 is equal to 1. So first, we write the characteristic equation. So I'll write m squared minus 4m plus 4 is equal to 0. And now we have a quadratic equation, so let's go ahead and solve for m using the quadratic formula. And I'll get that m12 is equal to the negative of b, or the negative of negative 4, which gives me 4, plus or minus the root of negative 4 squared, minus 4 times 1 times 4, 4ac, all over 2a, which is 2. Which gives me 4 divided by 2 is 2 give or take 16 minus 16 is 0 over 2 or 0. So now I have a doubly degenerate solution at 2, which means that this must be case 2. Okay, and if we recall the solution for this case, we get y of x equals c1e to the mx plus C2XE to the MX. Since both M1 and 2 are uh, equal to 2, I guess I could just let them both equal to M. So my solution, Y of X, if I insert the 2 for the M, I get C1E to the 2X plus C2XE to the 2X. All right, so now I have a two-parameter family of curves uh, in C1 and C2, uh, but I can use my constraints on the problem to uh, calculate C1 and C2. So I have something that I know about the function and something that I know about the derivative of the function. So I have the function. Let's go ahead and find the derivative now. Get y prime of x. And this is a pretty easy derivative. I just use the chain rule on e to the 2x, and I get 2 put in the C1, e to the 2x. And here I'll need the product rule, so I'll get plus C2. And if I take the derivative of x, I get 1 times e to the 2x plus the derivative of e to the 2x times x, which will give me 2x e to the 2x. Okay. Now I'm ready to apply the initial conditions. Okay. So I've solved the characteristic equation and I found the proper case and I've come up with a two parameter uh, family of curves. I've taken this derivative to uh, ready this uh, initial condition where I have the derivative and so let's see let's apply the first initial condition where y of 0 equals negative 1 so negative 1 is going to go for y and then everywhere I see an x let's go here I'm going to plug in a 0 so I get c1e to the 2 times 0 plus c2 times 0 times e to the 2 times 0 well, 0 times all of this, of course, is just going to give me 0. This is going to be e to the 0, which is 1. And so I just find that c1 equals negative 1. Okay? So if I apply the second condition here, I have y prime of 0 equals 1. I get 1 equals, and I go into my y prime function. All right? And I get 1 equals... 2c1 e to the 2 times 0 again e to the 0 plus c2 and then in parentheses I have e to the 0 plus and again I get 2 times 0 times e to the 0 which I know will still equal to 0 this will give me 1 so I end up with 1 equals 2c1 e to the 0 again is 1 okay plus c2 times this e to the 0 which is 1 okay so I recall c1 from above I'll get 1 equals 2 times negative 1 plus c2 or 
C2 is equal to 3. So now that I know C1 and C2, I can write my equation of motion. All right, and I'll get Y of X is equal to, so here I had C1 e to the 2X, so I get a minus e to the 2X plus C2 X e to the 2X. So that would be plus 3 X e to the 2X. And I guess I could factor out an e to the 2x, and I get a negative 1 plus 3x.